talk too much about it, but oh. yeah, I've been in a hospital. Okay, well, uh, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, I'm ready to do the interview with you. We're actually live on the air right now. We're doing a live broadcast uh, here at the studio tonight, just so you know. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, all right, so I'll do a little introduction, just kind of introduce you, everybody to you. I'm sure there's a lot of people that have heard of, your, have heard of you, obviously, because you're a pretty big name in the horror industry as well as the acting industry. Uh, for those of you who are wondering who uh, I am talking to right now, it is none other than the legendary horror actor and actor himself, Mr. Erwin Keyes. If that name should ring a bell, well, it should. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Erwin. Uh, it's uh, nice to have you uh, as a guest. Well, thank you. I'm uh, glad to be here. Uh, I'm just here having a good time. Friday night. Oh, yeah. Things are cooking, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. As they should be. I mean, you're you're living in California. I'm sure. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know what's going on right now tonight in California, but I know. Uh, is the weather good out there? It's what? Is the weather good out there? Oh yeah, the weather's always good out here. Uh, we have the best weather in the world here in Los Angeles. Uh, 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 it's just always, always warm and uh, friendly, and it's always beach weather. Oh, sure, sure, yeah, yeah. I don't live by any beaches. We, I, I live all the way in Rapid City, South Dakota, but I live by uh, real close to uh, Mount Rushmore. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> I've been there. Oh, you have. So you have been to the uh, yeah. Rapid City area before, huh? I've been through there. I've been, I've been there. You're near the Black Hills. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've been through a number of times. In fact, in my younger days. Have you, uh, have you I, been to I, it? I never were. I never shot a movie around there, though. But I, I've been through there. Have you been there through uh, for the Sturges rally at all in Sturges? Oh, not in a long time. <laughs> this is, you know, back when I was in my early twenties. Oh, sure. So, that was uh, a good 30 years ago. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. But that, that's, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, I uh, I live right here in Rapid City, South Dakota. It's a nice area, the Black Hills. You know, it's it's beautiful. It's just, it's almost as beautiful as uh, Los Angeles, uh, California. So, almost as. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of gold there. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of gold. Uh but uh, what have you been up to lately there, Ir Irwin, uh, other than just personal stuff, like any uh, movie that you're working on or anything? Well, I've, uh, I've done a number of films that are just waiting to come out. Uh, i got a thing called Angel Investor. Uh, that's comedy. And another thing called Port 10, which is a horror film. And, of course, Professor Creepy's Screen Party is... Uh, they're looking to make it into a TV series. And, uh, of course, you've heard of Dead Kansas. Yep, yep. Yeah, Alan Carter directed that. We, we, uh, KTEQ, we've been playing I think, the, Rapid uh, City. the horror, horror film festival circuit, and it's been winning awards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard that. So, you know, so i got a few things that I've been, I've been working on. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It's it's good to know that you that you're still staying active in the industry. I mean, it's been pretty. The industry's been good to you, and, and you should you know why why retire? Just keep doing it. Yeah. Hey, people call me up all the time with a new project. Something they 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 said they got to have me in it and this and that. Oh, that's this awesome. I think I had something just like that. This guy wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> He must be a real big fan of your work or something, huh? Well, he really uh, wanted me to be this this part. He wrote it for me, he said. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What? Yeah. Oh, that's cool, though. Yeah, I, I've never been to Los Angeles. The closest I have ever been to California ever in my life was when I took a trip to uh, Astoria, Oregon, where the Goonies were filmed. That's the closest I've ever been to California. Well, uh, California is a lot warmer than Oregon, and we get a lot less rain here. Although uh, we have our, our our times when we do get a lot of rain. 
Sure. But we even have to while we're in a drought right now. The whole state's in a drought. Oh, jeez. Yeah. The whole country has a drought going on here or there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about so much here, in Rapid City. I know we get pretty warm temperatures here too, but nothing like in California, or or, or down south or anything. Mm. Yeah. I think you'd like California. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd say so. Sure. But I mean, uh, it's full of history. It's full of history. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, not just not just Hollywood, but you know, history itself. Yeah. Well, that's how. Yeah. That's how uh, South Dakota and uh, California really are similar because there's a lot of Western heritage. There's a lot of old school heritage that uh, makes both those states just great to live in. Oh yeah, yeah, a lot of a lot of the old West, both places. I, I, have, I have a number of friends who are cowboys. You know, they're movie cowboys, and uh, uh, they're really into the into the cowboy thing. They they live cow their, their lives are they live as cowboys. Oh wow! Yeah, and uh, you know and they get work as actors in cowboy movies. So they they, they were in movies like Tombstone and uh, uh, all kinds of uh, other westerns. Oh yeah, and, and and they probably have ranches and stuff too. Probably I bet you. <laughs> How did you guess? <laughs> 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 well, well, yeah, I, I, I can, I can figure that because even here in the Black Hills area, we got people that are like that too. We got a lot of ranchers that live here that live literally the cowboy way. We're real close to uh-huh. Wyoming and Montana. That's all cowboy territory. So it's like, uh-huh. I mean, it, it, it's it's a very historic. No matter where you go, I mean, I live, I'm almost what forty five minutes away from Deadwood, South Dakota, and Deadwood alone has a lot of history. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that wood, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they even did the, the the show on HBO, and I remember because I had a, a Julianne Ream who uh, uh, has done stuff with uh, I think Bonanza or some uh, some show that she did. I forget what it was. Some uh, popular show that used to be on maybe Gunsmoke, probably. Anyway, she she knew the director or the guy who I think it was the director. He he came to Deadwood, South Dakota, because he wanted to make sure that the the, the set for Deadwood, the the TV show, was going to be very similar to what Deadwood, South Dakota, looked like. Oh, good, good. Yeah, I like that. I like that when they try to get authenticity uh, into movies. Like yeah. my, my friend, his specialty is guns. He is all the old guns of the old west, and. Um, he provided all the guns that were in the movie Tombstone. Oh, sure. And uh, they were all from the Old West, from the 18, 1880s, the guns. Oh, sure. They were the, the real deal. Oh, absolutely. I'm sure there's a lot of people that get into, get into guns. I mean, even even I know a few people around here that are really into the whole gun scene. I, I never was, but just because I never grew up that way. Uh, maybe I don't know. Did you ever grow up with guns? I mean, prior to being an actor, did you sh- did you like hunting or shooting or whatever? Um, I didn't. I didn't grow up with guns, but uh, you know, I've had my moments where I've been. I've gone out and shot skeet and, and participated with guns. Uh, uh, I've used guns in movies. Sure. Uh, uh, upon occasion. Uh, now, what was that question about growing up? Yeah, like, uh, like, gr- did you grow up with guns? Like, like, did your family like to shoot or hunt or anything, anything like that? No, they they don't know nothing about that. You know, uh, I I learned most of that when I moved to California. Oh, sure, sure. Why well, don't hear? Uh, so that would be you know, good good thirty five years ago. Jeez, <laughs> long time ago. I mean, 30 years ago for me. I started, I would say, started. Although I used guns before that in movies. Yeah. In, uh, you know, movies like uh, uh, The Warriors, I used a gun. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I used a baton in that. Jeez. I'm sure that was kind of different, you know. Like, uh, it says here you were credited as the, you were one of the police guys in The Warriors. Yeah, I was number one bad bad guy, okay. bad guy cop. 
bad guy cop number one. Okay. <laughs> that was me. Um, I was actually supposed to play Ajax, the guy I beat up in the movie. Uh, but as they started casting the movie, they realized they wanted to use a young, young, young gang. And so I was too old to play the part. Sure. Uh, so they gave me the part of the cop who beats up Ajax. <coughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. So, so sure, so when I got to play the cop who beats him up. Oh, wow. Well, that, that's pretty Although, cool. Yeah. yeah. Although it would have been a lot more a lot more work as the other part, but, yeah. but it worked out okay. Hey. I have no complaints. Hey, more film time is is always better, you know, on screen time. If you can get on the screen, any any chance to get on on screen and have people watch you afterwards, oh man, that's just a that I I say that's the ultimate thrill, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it says here I'm, I'm just kind of looking up a little information about you too, uh, for from what I know and what I don't know. But it says here that you were actually considered for the role of Freddy Krueger originally. Uh, I met somebody on that part. Um, but again, you know, when you go with me, you go with a character actor, and they wanted, they turn out they wanted somebody very straight to play that part. They didn't want to look in it to inject humor in that character. Oh, they yeah. wanted They wanted very straight. And they don't, they didn't think that you could play a straight actor? I think you could have done it. Well, of course I can, but but, you know, they want something very up and down straight. Oh, okay. That's why Which they want... I understand. You know, it's happened to me before. Yeah. Is that why they went with Robert or uh, Robert England? Because they figured he'd be more straight character? They wanted somebody that you, uh, uh, you know, cause, I mean, nobody knew who he was, uh, uh, the character. They wanted... You know, they wanted, they didn't want to, uh, they had a concept in their heads, you know, that they wanted something very straight. I, yeah. I, that's the only thing I could think. Oh, yeah, well, uh, I, I think that's kind of, and, and it definitely helped uh, Robert's uh, career, that's for sure, because, yeah, probably nobody knew who he was, and then all of a sudden you, you get a role like Freddy Krueger and everybody wants you in your movie afterwards, even all the sequels. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But Which is all right. I mean, I'm, you know, horror yeah. films, horror films. Yeah, but you in your career, it looks like you've done a you know you've done a lot of different things other than just this horror. I mean, you've been on on comedy show movies, you've been on TV. I mean, the list goes on and on. You've had a very eclectic career as far as as far as yeah. that goes. Because I'm I'm looking here. I I actually watched a movie called Zapped, and I remember that movie very well. And I saw. Oh, that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. With uh, Scott Baio. Yep. And Willie Ames. Yeah. And I remember and, uh, my my favorite. I got to act with Scott Man Scott Man Covers. Oh yeah. And then of course Eddie. And the old Scott Man. And of course Eddie Deason was in there too, a little oh, bit. He was a really nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've chatted with Eddie before. He's a very very cool. Laid back guy. Yeah. Talk, he talks awfully fast, but he but he uh, is very nice. Very nice. Uh, it was a, it was a great time. We just you know, I think I worked about two days on it, and uh, it was just a lot of fun. Um, they let me go a little crazy on that character, uh, and it worked. Oh yeah, it absolutely did. Yeah. So yeah. yeah uh, uh, the movie became a super hit, and in fact, they made a zap too, which kind of disappeared. <laughs> yeah, it got zapped away. <laughs> yeah, that got zapped out, yeah. <laughs> and uh, years later, I got to work with Scott again in uh, oh, in some movie that never ever came out. This action movie that uh, just, uh, this guy produced. And... Uh, it was just great to see him after all those years. Oh, sure. Scott Bale. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Scott Bale from the good old, from the days of uh, Charles in Charge, and I think even Happy Happy Days, I believe, too, and a lot of stuff that he's done. Char- you know. Oh, yeah. Well, this, this, this little movie never got out because uh, 
the producer was uh, he uh, he was crazy, oh, and yeah. uh, he insulted a lot of other uh, studios who uh, they were interested in his movie because they weren't telling you know he wasn't I don't know he was just crazy, and they decided they want to they wouldn't touch this movie. And it had all kinds of celebrities in it. Ugh. It had a lot of a lot of names in it. Never got out. And it, did it have a pretty good budget as far as like to to afford all those uh, celebrities? No, no, well, thing, you know, they, these kind of movies never do have a good budget. They have, you know, I mean, I think it was scale plus ten, so I I don't remember a big budget on it. Well, because I, I mean, it had some pretty. It had, believe me, it had names. But it just kind of disappeared as outer space. Well, because I remember... Which happens to a lot of movies. Yeah, yeah. Well, because I remember... I mean, it's not, even, it's not even listed on IMDb. No, and I don't even see it here on your uh, Wikipedia page either, on your film, filmography. I'm, I'm going to have to get it up, up there. I'll have, to, I'll have to do some research and find it again. Sure, sure. Yeah. Well, because uh, yeah. I remember, because I've... I've I watch like you know I go big on classics. I like the Cannonball Run movies. I mean the Cannonball Run with all these uh, with Burt Reynolds and everything and all the actors that were big back in those days. I mean, yeah. I don't know how big a budget they had back in those days, but to to be able to get Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. and you know the Rat Pack and all these people that were famous for other roles, other things that they did to get them in a jam packed funny comedy movie, it had to be it had to cost them something. Well, you know, uh, people people do people's favors in Hollywood. Um, you know, hoping something better will come from it. They, you know, they got nothing else to do. And it's better to be get out there and be seen than to sit around and just, you know, mope and do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I think you would have been perfect for one of the roles in the, in the uh, Cannibal Run movies. I think that would have been, that could have been up your alley. Oh yeah, yeah. So I mean, there's lots of movies that you know. There's always, there's always, you always need a good character actor. Uh, uh, there aren't many of us out there. It, character actors are limited. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's only only a certain number of people who really are character actors, and I don't care if they put a mustache on you and put a wig on your head, you know, and uh, paint you blue. That don't make you a character actor. <laughs> No, it has to do with how well you act, uh, you know, on, on screen, and how how good you are with dialogue, and how 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 the fans will 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 interact with you, or how they'll they'll they're going to test you when they first don't know who you are. But then, if you impress them like you obviously have, uh, they're gonna they're gonna like more of the stuff that you're in because of how well the job you've done. Yeah, I mean, there was a period of time I remember when. Uh... Uh, uh, Hollywood's idea of a character actor was uh, was uh, 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 an ex-leading man growing a mustache and putting glasses and, and a wig on him. And uh, that was, like I just said before, it's not a character actor. I don't care what how you do it. It's not, it's not that. Sure. Absolutely. You know, uh, this week we lost the legendary Robin Williams. Do you have any Robin Williams memories at all? I do, as a matter of fact. Uh, back in the 70s, when I was just starting out in New York City, I used to go to the, uh, in, to the, to the New York Improv, which is a comedy club. Yeah. And I remember Robin getting on the stage and, and first walking out. I mean, before anyone ever, ever even knew who he was, I remember him and Pee Wee Herman and Andy Kaufman. They were all out there doing their stuff. Jeez. I remember those days. I, you know, I was there. Yeah, and I can I, I can imagine how cool it was to hear a set with all three of those guys. Man, Robin Williams, Peter Yeah, I mean, and then suddenly they some they became superstars, and I mean, I saw them before the people even knew who they were. Wow, that had to be a trip, I tell you. Yeah, if if one could and, just uh, go back. Uh, yeah, and you know he'll say, he'll be sadly missed. Yeah, because because it's not easy to make people laugh anymore, and uh, at least that's one thing. Robin Robin was a great great at making people laugh. 
And I and I heard that he was also a very down to earth guy. I mean, even though he's a big celebrity and, and you know he you know everybody knows who he is, but he'd be the type of person that you didn't really often see with security. Yeah, he he'd actually you know interact with fans if he could, you know, and just sit down with them and just hang out like they're like they've known each other for years. Yeah, I heard that too. That he would you know want to go out of his way for people. Do whatever they wanted, sign autographs or this or that. He, he was uh, something, something special. Oh yeah, very much. And he, you he, know, I just hope people remember him for the good things. Sure. So when it talks, when we talk about uh, memories and stuff, and, and I don't want to make it seem like we're like 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 you're you're down to your final years because you still got, I think you got years upon years of of creative things to do in the film industry. But what what do you think people re- will remember about Irwin Keys? Well, I think uh, people are going to remember me for for my acting. You know, I was always a good actor in whatever I was in. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, and I've played all kinds of roles over the years. I've done drama, I've done comedy. I've played with the Jeffersons, the number one TV show in the country. I've been with Tim, Tim Conway and Don Knotts in movies. I was in the Flintstones, the House of a Thousand Corpses, uh, Rob Zombie's first horror movie. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I've, I've had a very, very career. Yeah. Well, that's, that's cool. And I, and I think a lot of people will remember that because it was kind of funny, you know, when I announced that uh, you were going to be a guest on my show. Uh, your it, the the Facebook uh, uh, thing just kind of blew up a little bit. There's a lot of people that that are fans of yours that uh, really were looking forward to this interview. I guess so. Hopefully they're listening. <laughs> yeah, hope you. Uh, yeah, hope you have a good crowd from this. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Anyway, I do what I can. You know, I'm sh- I'm sure you will. Uh, you know, it only gets better. That's what I always say. Sure. Life yes. only gets better. Absolutely. Uh, any uh, any last things you want to say before we let you go? No, I just uh, everybody hang in there, and uh, uh, we'll be back again soon with some more good movies and uh, good TV and whatever it is, and uh, uh, think positive. Oh, absolutely. The world is the world is uh, very positive. Just remember the positive stuff. Well, thank you very much, Sir Irwin Keys. I appreciate just uh, the fact of uh, uh, talking to you. This is a a big treat, and uh, this means a lot more to me than it probably does to you. So I really appreciate it. Okay, well, thank you, Sean. I appreciate all the nice things you've been saying. Hey, no problem. And anytime, maybe you can, you know, we'll, we'll interact on Facebook. If there's anybody that you know that would like to be a guest on a on my show, you can always uh, let me know because I'm, I'm I'm open. Yeah. They can find me on Facebook. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, Erwin. You have a good rest you of the night. It. All right. Bye-bye. Uh-